And friends and family gather tonight to remember one of New York's bravest, firefighter William Moon. Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm Dick Brennan. A somber day for the FDNY family members and loved ones of a fallen firefighter began to say their final goodbyes at the wake for William Moon. The firefighter died during a training accident in Brooklyn on December 12th. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger joining us now, live from East Islip, and you spoke to some of the people who knew him best, Hannah? We certainly did, Dana. It's really a mournful, melancholy mood out here tonight. We saw dozens of firefighters lined up outside this funeral home, saluting and supporting the loved ones, family members, and friends as they walked into this wake. William Moon, known around here as Billy, lived on Long Island but worked in Brooklyn, and those who knew him both personally and professionally are remembering his life of service. Firefighters came from far and wide to honor a hero who selflessly helped others even after his death. He was so good uh, at his job that it made my job much easier. I always knew that he was going to make his position and I always knew that no matter what, he would give it his all to get anybody that was inside that building. Moon, who was critically injured during a drill in his Brooklyn firehouse, saved others by donating his organs, a decision made by his family in memory of the man he was. His cousin, a retired chief on Long Island, says he came from a family of firefighters. We had a great time. We were very close. Uh, you know, we, we spent a lot, of, a lot of time fighting fires. When I was chief, he would come to my fires. The doleful day is marked with teary-eyed visitors who walked into this funeral home. Purple ribbon adorns the streets and poles, and a massive American flag proudly hangs from fire ladders along Montauk Highway. At 19 years old, Moon started as a volunteer firefighter on Long Island. He then joined Ladder Company 133 in Queens, was training at Rescue Company 2 in Brooklyn when he suffered a head injury. He's a 21-year veteran of the FDNY and also volunteered at the department in his hometown. Raymond Fifield, a former firefighter emotionally, remembers the friendship which began in 1999. Phenomenal guy. He's a man's man, somebody that you'd want to hang out with 24-7, you know, life of the party. The man who dedicated his life to saving others leaves behind a wife, two children, and a whole community of people whose lives were touched by his bravery. There will be another chance for loved ones to attend a wake which starts at 7 tonight. Then tomorrow morning, Moon's casket will be brought to St. Patrick Roman Catholic Church in Bayshore for a funeral, which is set to start at 11. Dick and Dana, back to you. Okay, thank you, Hannah. The funeral, again, for firefighter Moon begins at 11 tomorrow morning. We will stream it for you on CBS News New York.